Okay, so right now I got something pretty heavy, so I want to pull it really slowly. And I can feel it moving. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, I can see it's really huge. I don't want to lose it. Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do some magnet fishing. For this I bought a magnet plus a rope. I already fixed it here to my body and I'm gonna record everything with my GoPro here so you can see everything that I will find. So we are at this side here. I believe that after constructing and building this the workers here dumped a lot of the stuff that they didn't need in here into the river. So I'm trying to get this out plus on this place here behind me uh, a lot of guys are partying and maybe they will throw in some stuff that is can be pulled out with the magnet so with that being said let me start and let's do the first throw okay so here we go the first throw and let's see what we pull out that are our findings of the day uh, we found three bottle caps some part of a metal grid a big rusty nail some other metal stuff the two coolest findings were a huge threaded rod it is really big a bit rusty a bit dirty but Really amazing fight, it was really hard to pull out and not that heavy but also pretty big, it's a pipe. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that we pulled out today. So today's the second day that we're gonna do magnet fishing here at this place and 
Before we start, I want to do some quick 101 on magnet fishing. So what you need and how you're going to do it. So the first thing you need, like I already said, you need a magnet and a long rope that can endure something. And second of all, you're going to find some place where you can do magnet fishing because not everybody, uh, everywhere there's something in a river or a lake where you can find something. So find a place that it's not too crowded and where the chance is pretty high that somebody dumps in something. So the third thing I want to talk about is safety. Um, get some gloves because you're gonna have to hold the rope and maybe you can pull out something that is like sharp or something that can hurt you. So get some safety gloves so you don't get hurt. And second, so you don't lose the magnet fix the rope on your body so you if you throw it away and you don't hold the rope then it isn't lost so how to do magnet fishing just throw the magnet in wait until it hits the bottom and then pull it slowly towards you and you will realize when it hits something because it gets heavier because the magnet doesn't weigh anything basically anything and you will notice any weight that it uh, that is added to it if you have something then pull really slowly because you don't want to lose the things what you have to keep in mind is that when you have something on the magnet and it gets out of the water, it gets heavier. So keep that in mind, so don't lose something that is right in front of your nose, but you can't grab it. But it's already out of the water and you can see it and you want to have it, but then it falls in because you pull out, uh, pull like too fast or something like that. Okay, so right now I got something. It is pretty heavy, so I want to pull it really slowly. And I can feel it moving. So just keep on pu pulling really slowly, really slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. So don't lose it. Oh, I can see it. It's a really, it's a, it's a huge pile. It's really huge. I don't want to lose it. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's a really huge pipe. I didn't expect to pull out anything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the ground and we'll look at it a bit more in detail. God. So actually, this is not a pipe. I first thought that it is a pipe because it's hollow here inside but actually it's a rail because you can see it here in the end at the end god this is heavy there is like something to fix it to anything this is a really amazing find i'm pretty sure this is the best find of the day it was like the first thing i pulled out on the i don't know fourth row or something like that okay so i think it's gonna be really hard to beat this but Let's try our best. So guys, two things on one throw, one bottle cap, and we're getting rich, five cents. Pretty nice. Yes, I think you can see it, but it's another five cents. So we're 10 cent now. I think again I got something. Yes. Yes, here we go. I don't know exactly what this is. So I think it's something to fix anything to the ground. So that put that into the ground and here just to fix, I don't know, metal rope or something like that. I don't know. If you know what this is, just post in the comments below, let me know what it is. But yeah, no clue what this is. So this is actually pretty cool. I found a tool and it still works. When I'm at home, I'm gonna clean this and see how it looks that's a pretty nice find so we're gonna keep that okay guys so that's it for today 
I'm just gonna show you what I found today to wrap everything up. I hope you enjoyed it and let's see what we found today. So let's start with the waist. There are just some small metal pieces, some bottle caps, four of them. Um, I'm actually not really surprised to find them because there are a lot of guys partying here and just throwing them in. And just some small nails and other things out of metal. Two fishing hooks. I'm actually pretty glad that I pulled them out because they're pretty dangerous to lie in there. I don't really know what this is. So if you know, just help me out, post it in the comments. And then, yeah, some other metal parts just of the construction site here that are uh, dumped in there. And then, right here, that are the keepers. First of all, two five cent coins. Pretty nice, but I won't be able to spend them because you can't see what it is. And then there's this tool here. I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna look at it and see how it looks. So now, the big boys. I found, today I found three of them. I still don't know what this is. And then this is some metal rope. Hope you can see it. It's like here. Yeah, that's just a piece of a metal rope. Then this handrail or just any rail. It's still my favorite find of the day. It's really heavy and it's really big. So I think I won't pull out anything much bigger than this, but it's really awesome. And it was actually the first find of the day. So right now I'm gonna go dump everything in the trash can. And I think I'm gonna go twice. I have to go twice because I have like all my stuff here. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is a really amazing place. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna return here for another video. And I hope you enjoyed what I found here. So I'm back home. I already tried to clean this up a bit with just a brush and water, but it didn't really work as you can see. Um, now I'm trying to get rid of everything with vinegar. So for this I'm just using some standard vinegar for like one euro or something like that. And I'm gonna pour it in until half of it is covered. And after some hours I'm gonna look for it. And if it's cleaned, I'm gonna turn everything around and put in the other half of it. So I hope this is gonna clean it up and after that it should look nice. So there is actually still something that I wanted to tell you. So I did some research and I found out that hydroelectric power is a thing in my hometown since the 19th century. So this could possibly be over 100 years old. I'm not sure. Um, after I clean it up I can look for some pictures on the internet and see what this kind of tool, how long this kind of tool hasn't been used. And of course the dam was renovated several times and this could be from a later date, but this would be actually really cool if this was from the end of the 19th century. So yeah, hopefully it is and then it would be really cool and I'm for sure gonna keep it because it looks really nice even if it's not a hundred years old. Okay, so first let's put the pliers out and then dry them and then see how we can clean them with this brush. Right now clean everything up, mainly I used vinegar, metal brushes, shoe brushes and a screwdriver. Now I can see the logo, it says Nipex Germany and Nipex 99-80 and I did some research, actually this could be pretty new because this line 9928 280 is still produced but it also could be really old like from the 1950s or something like that. Nipex is already existing 
since the late 19th century, so 80, 1888 I guess. It actually really doesn't matter because it's a cool find and I won't sell it anyways, so I'm gonna keep it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've seen like any Nipex 99-80 that looks like this, then let me know in the comments below because I've looked through hundreds of pictures on the internet and I didn't find a version that looked exactly like this. So let me know if you know how old this is. And if you enjoyed this, just leave a thumbs up. I would really enjoy this. And if you want to see more of those videos, just leave a subscription. It doesn't hurt you. And yeah, until then, see you in the next video.